In this video, I will show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail that gets a lot of clicks and I will not be using Photoshop, but I will be using an app that is free and 100% beginner friendly. Now the process will be super easy. You see, the thumbnail is the first thing that people see of your video. And if your thumbnail is looking boring, nobody will watch your video. They will watch the video of your competitors. Hi, I'm Silart from bluefx.net and our mission is to give you the video templates that make your videos look better so more people watch them. Actually, all the graphics that you see on this video can be downloaded so you can use them in your next video. Now the links are in the description box below. Now if you already like this video, just click the like button because that helps our channel a lot. Now you see the best performing YouTube thumbnails make your viewers curious and that is what gets the click. You see, they have the following elements in common. First, they have a very clear text that is not longer, not more than two, three words. They also have the face of a person, preferably displaying some type of an emotion. And they also use bright colors with strong contrast between the foreground, the text and the background. Now, here's the number one mistake that people make when creating thumbnails. I've done this many times. So let's say we shoot a video and then we try to just go frame by frame and try to capture the perfect image with our face for the thumbnail. But here's the problem. When we talk, our faces look strange because we are moving our muscles. You're either going to have one eye closed and one open, or maybe you're going to have a, a, a half smile, half frown-ish image. And that's not good. That's not going to be perfect for our thumbnail. But here's an easy fix. When I record a new video, at the beginning of the video, I stand in a couple of poses that will fit our thumbnail image. Something like this, like I would go with a smiling face, like that. Or I would also be using a couple of pointing images, like this. I would be pointing all around. And then once these videos are in my main video, I just take a couple of snapshots of that frame. So to do that, if for example, if you're on Windows, you can use something called the snipping tool. It's installed in your Windows machine and just take a snapshot of the frame and boom, we can use that image as a basis. Now, what do we use to edit the image and add the text and make it look more funky and more interesting? We're gonna use a super popular app called Canva and it's also free and it works online so we don't have to install anything so let's just open up canva.com now if you don't have a free account just sign up it's free you can use that you'll see a thumbnail image preset and we're gonna click on that youtube thumbnail now you can drag and drop your image or you can just go to you here and click on upload and click on upload files and then just select your file okay it's importing and I'm going to just drag and drop this file here <laughs> onto the timeline. We're going to just resize it so it fits our screen. I'm going to put myself here on the right side. I'm going to click on the image and click on crop. And then I can crop the image because I don't want so much on the left side. Done. So half of, my, of the screen is with me. Now on the other half, you can just add a color. So first off, I go to backgrounds and here you can just select one color, click on this one and you can use, let's, let's just use this red. Okay, this is pretty close to my t-shirt. That's gonna be good. On this, I'm gonna add some text. I click on text. I'm gonna just use this basic preset. This is gonna be the first line. Let's make this one big like this now let's add the second word okay now let's see what what would look best here i'm gonna scale this down and it has to be easy to read okay so i already see that if i would go with white with the white color we could have people read this better so i'm gonna select all three text layers and then i'm gonna click here on that a which is the text color option and i will go with white and let's just select our image and click on edit. Adjust the brightness, make it somewhat brighter. Adjust also the contrast. 
Now, if you'd want to download this thumbnail, all you got to do, go to share and then click on download. Go ahead and download this image. That simple. Now, let me show you a template that's that I really like. It's really simple to edit. I like this template here. Let's click on it. And these templates are pretty cool because you can just uh, change the elements quickly in it. So I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to take my image here. And as I drag my image, look, take a look, as I drag my image over the guy's face, <laughs> it instantly knows that it's my face. And you can then just double click on these text layers and, and change the text and, and that's it. So now you have a really cool looking professional YouTube thumbnail. Now, did you know that with Canva, you can also create video animations, so animated videos. You see, I recorded a video that shows you how to make animated whiteboard videos right inside Canva. Now, these animations are captivating and make your viewers watch more of your videos. And that in turn makes YouTube promote your videos more, so you get more and more views. So it's worth checking this one out if you're planning to grow your YouTube channel. Just click on the video right here that I'm showing you and you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.